<laughs> Today we are in Lisa's Park in Newcastle with some volunteers and their dogs. What do they think of the charity? Let's find out. So what the charity means to me is it's just brilliant to be involved with an organisation that's fighting to end loneliness in old people. It's a terrible situation that we've got 51,000 older people in this area alone that say they suffer from chronic loneliness and to be able to try and help that and prevent that happening is just great. So I've been volunteering with WAG since 2017. Um, and I just love, love, love uh, how it just changes elderly people's lives. It gives them a purpose. Um, it just gives them a little something to look forward to. Um, and I also love what it does for the dogs. The dogs know when they're ready to get the bandanas on, they know it's time for work. And it's just, it's a beautiful connection, I think, between the dogs. And it's the ripple effect and the, the warm, fuzzy feeling you get visiting. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful charity, and I'm proud to be a part of it. So, my name's Helen. I volunteer for WAG. I think for me, it was really important to volunteer to kind of um, spend some time away from work. I felt like I was working too hard and I wanted to do something different. So, for me, it was, it was that. Um, I ended up going to a show a couple of years ago now, which was a Darren Brown show. Um, and it was really poignant because part of it he talked about the five regrets of the dying and even though it's quite dark it made us really think about those are my regrets you know some of them about working too hard about the fact that you're, you're not being your true self and you're not you know you could be happier so it made us really think about what would I like to do so in the end I thought about volunteering my dog's getting a bit older I wanted time with him so it was just this perfect combination of being able to volunteer and spend time with my dog um, so that's it really, so, and, I, and I love it. Um, for me, I think some of the things I really enjoy is spending time with older people. Um, I think a lot of people have a really bad view of older people and they don't give them the time they deserve, but they're people like everyone else and they're really interesting. I visit Barbie, um, she's had a very different life to me. She's very colourful, she's the opposite of what I'd ever imagine an old person to be like. She's interesting, she has her own stories and she absolutely spoils my dog and he loves her. So it's just a win-win. Spend time with my dog. He spends time getting spoiled. She gets, to, um, she spends time telling me lots of stories, colorful stories, X-rated stories. And I, I, um, and I just have a really good time and it makes you feel good. So that's for me, so yeah. Hiya, I'm Raina and this is Bay. And uh, we started WAG because I used to look after my auntie and my dad. And there was always a dog around and it was always there giving them a bit of, like while I was at work, a bit, it, it just stops any loneliness in the house. So when we started WAG, I uh, was 18 months old and we were um, put with our friend Betty Webster. And Betty had not been out of the house in uh, three years with COVID. And before that, she was very big in the community. Uh, she started off at WI in the Gosford um, Garden Village. She used to work for the um, Northumberland County Council and also um, <laughs> and also the um, English Heritage and she used to like organising things and that so it was very hard for her just to be sitting in the house and everything and Bear just brought her that joy every week after she'd lost her dog Max so unfortunately Betty died in June this year and the family as this was a thank you for saying you know like that be so grateful that you could bring so much joy into her life the last two years of her life and um, that they actually put up the donations to WAG and that because it is a wonderful charity. 
So my name is Joan and I've volunteered to work for two years now with Teddy. The reason I got into it was I've always volunteered, always liked to do something and always loved dogs. And being able to do two together has been genius for me. I go to visit Eva, who lives on her own, always had dogs, couldn't have dogs, and we visit her. We do all sorts of little things for them with her that she can't manage herself. We also occasionally go to care homes and we visit the staff of Queen Elizabeth and the Freedom Hospital to help them with the mental health care. It's such a lovely charity, wonderful community of people. It's a local charity, and if anybody wants to get involved, please do. We'll credit.